Well, 32 years ago was a day that a lot of natives will never forget. There was a massive explosion at the Pepcon chemical plant, which is in Henderson, not too far from the 215 and Gibson. It left two people dead and hundreds injured. 8 News Now reporter Joe Muller spoke to a woman who remembers that day like it was yesterday. More than 30 years after the Pepcon explosion, the area where it happened here has drastically changed. Take a look from above, from commercial buildings to apartments. But the people who lived through that experience say it's a memory they will never forget. I was walking into the nursery when all of a sudden there was this concussion. Nancy Sloan had just given birth a few days before the Pepcon explosion happened in 1988. She was still at Sunrise Hospital May 4th. We looked out the window of the hospital, and I look out the window, and there's a mushroom cloud over Henderson. That cloud was coming from the Pacific Engineering and Production Company of Nevada. Investigators say a welder's torch sparked a fire that spread to a stockpile of ammonium perchlorate, a chemical used to propel rockets. Two people died, and more than 300 were injured. I was like, look at that. Henderson just blew up, forgetting we had just moved to Henderson uh, three months earlier. Emergency. We didn't need a fire department. All the explosions could be felt for miles. The disaster caused $100 million in property damage to businesses and homes. It also ruptured a natural gas pipeline. It was like in a war zone. Sloan's new home at the time, the one you see here near Warm Springs in Valley Verde, was badly damaged. Every house window was blown in. There was $40,000 of damage to the house. There were shards of glass stuck in the walls. Um, it was like we we're actually thankful we weren't home because had we been standing around, um, who knows what would have happened. Every year around her daughter's birthday, the picture of the explosion pops up in her mind. It's just something that comes up every year and we'll always remember. Reporting in Henderson, Joe Muller, 8 News Now.